Hello viewers, greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited and in this video we are going to talk about Odoo Plus DocuSign integration. So like any other integration that we are having as a product, Odoo Plus DocuSign is also one of the successful integrations that uh, so far uh, we have been having. And uh, as the word suggests and as the integration name suggests itself that it is going to be a service which allows a user to electronically sign the document that you're going to share across their emails so it's going to be an integrated uh, solution with oju so currently as you can see that we are on our odus instance we are going to use odu version 14 enterprise edition for this demo and uh, prior i start explaining you it further let's get to know that what docusign is and how exactly uh, it offers its services so basically it's uh, one of the uh, a company uh, from the US that offers us the uh, e-signature solution and e-signature facility company and having a group of products and solutions which uh, help its user not only with the e-signature thing but there are many other supporting things uh, you know related to the electronic uh, signatures so it has uh, a very good bunch of product allowing its user with this seamless operations so just like any other integrated solution we also can have we're going to have a developer's account and uh, that will really help us to get it seamlessly integrated with our odus instance and so that we can test our integration and we can serve our users and our clients with that all right so i think let's go ahead with the solution so everything starts with having a developer's account. So we have some custom changes made and we have some custom modules created, especially to enable our Odoo's instance. Uh, let's say for an example, if you want to share across a quotation to your clients, if you want to raise a purchase order to your vendor. So in every such cases, if you just need your client, if you want your clients to pay uh and, and even before that if you want your clients to sign the document electronically so docusign integration is one such module and solution which will really help you out to operate uh this thing in in, in the easiest way possible i would say all right so as you can see we have uh, the docusign module created over here we have an option to get it configured simply by getting inside docusign and uh, DocuSign config. So here we are in already, and we simply can create the new configuration as well. And uh, it is asking us for some of the credentials, which will surely be uh, given by your, uh, you know, a developer's account that you already have in the DocuSign. So it is asking nothing much but the URI, API key, and DocuSign account ID. These, these will be the things that you will be getting from your DocuSign account. Uh, client key and there will be a binary API key file that you just need to get generated, that you just need to get stored somewhere in your local device and that simply you can upload it over here so that it tightly integrates Odoo with DocuSign facilities right so i think let's go ahead and let's start with the first thing first we're going to have uh, an account over here so i'll initially show you that uh, from where exactly we are going to get all these credentials to get entered here in odoo so upon getting a developer's account we simply can get inside settings from here And we will be having many such further operations to be done over there so that we can generate the unique credentials that we are going to have entered in our Odoo's instance. It has so many other things, but especially when it when, when it comes to integrating it with Odoo, uh, there will uh, be a very simple steps to, be, to get followed. And inside the settings, inside the left panel we have many other options but especially we are getting inside integrations and we are getting inside apps and keys so if you already have worked with the third party integrations on any of the platforms you might be aware that we need to have 
uh, or app created app is not uh, the app what exactly we are going to use on a mobile device or like that but it's going to be the thing it's going to be some kind of an account which will be generating some of the credentials and that specific uh, specifically that you need to get entered inside your odoo's instance so let's say we are having we already have for generated user id api account id api base uri we have the app name that we just had given initially when uh, we started working with this new account and the integration key which is one of the must and one of the very important uh, field to be entered in your odoo's instance which kind of environment that you are using it so yes it's going to be development because it's the development account that we are using for a while later on i think you can switch to any other uh, higher level of account as well all right so this is the thing that you can create and that you simply can get from your uh, docusign e signature account we have an another button uh, over here if you just want to work with uh, if you just want to create an another sub account and if you just want to use other credentials generated by that account so we have the direct option for that as well so these many credentials that we just uh, got entered over here right uh, then we have a binary api key file uh, to get uh, generated from this particular account and to get directly uploaded once you save it uh, in your uh, local device uh, we are getting back again to apps and keys so this here just getting inside uh, the app docusign and uh, we are having a very limited options because uh, directly this app or this module will not have any use but you just will be able to get it configured by this way you simply can give it a name uh, let's say for now i have given it a name like docusign test uh, you can simply click it right because if you just want to have these credentials used every time when you interact when you transact with your customers or your vendor or any other partner let's say on a document to get them say, uh, to get them sign uh, your document so if you believe that it's going to be the default uh, credentials that you will be using so you simply can get it right right and uh, you can simply uh, upload uh, it's a pre created account it's a pre created and pre configured account of uh, integrated solution so we are having it like this otherwise we just it will simply be asking us to upload a file but uh, i can directly show you that what kind of credentials of the uh, api file that you'll be getting from your docusign account and what exactly uh, that will how exactly that is going to play the role so anyways we are going to save it and we just need to get it authenticated and confirm upon confirming the newly created account that you uh, uh, with the credentials that you are entering here it will simply go from the draft state to the confirmed state all right which definitely means that you now can use the odoo plus docusign integrated solution and we are going to take the practical look inside it how exactly we can go for that <clears throat> so let's say we are going to have uh, uh, we're going to create a quotation from the sales app we're going to select customer we're going to select the expiration date quotation template if you need to select you can we are selecting a product from here we are selecting quantity applicable taxes and we are going to save it so the normal process so far right but the new thing comes into the picture right now here is that we get uh, an, another button over here send document to sign however we always have an option to send something by email but that will not be utilizing and using uh, the docusign uh, functionalities if you are just going to send uh, the quotation in the normal way 
that we have here but we only have a, a button added over here we can simply send the document for the signature kind of thing and the payment kind of thing again can be processed uh, separately so let's just get inside the customer and check that what email address that it has let's say okay this is going to be the email address uh, where the customer is going to receive our quotation uh, along with the request of getting it signed so let's have our email address open here as well all right so it seems it's it has been uh, loaded and uh, let me just send the document to sign to this particular customer i have selected all right Uh, it may take some time i think it should just not be taking longer than a uh, couple of seconds but just based on your internet connection it may take some time because we also have used the uh, custom module and uh, the custom code has been written i mean to say uh, to develop this so i think let's go and check what exactly we have received in our email so that is something that i just wanted to show you here is that how the customer will be uh, receiving our email if you are clicking on this particular button while we have the DocuSign module installed and we are using it so let's say the customer opens up an email this is going to be some general content we have an option to uh, get it edited by having our own template as well so it simply says that review document we can simply click on that it opens up an another tab or a window It is redirecting things to something uh, on DocuSign and here we simply can continue. If it is asking you to agree uh, to the electronic record and signature kind of regulations, so you simply can click on write and you can click on continue. But yes, here we have an option to electronically sign the document and send it back to uh, the person or the company who have sent you this to you. So we have uh, the options available from DocuSign. In short, now uh, things, uh, you know, uh, the Odoo has performed its role. Now the integration started working and you directly, uh, you know, being forwarded to the DocuSign screen where you can utilize and where you can use the features and functionality provided by DocuSign. So yes, I'll choose to uh, put my signature over here. If you want to draw it on your own, you can. If you want to upload an image or a text, you have an option for that. But if you just want to, uh, if you want a DocuSign to suggest you something uh, to, uh, to to sign the document, then we have an option for that, which will be doing nothing, but it will either be putting in your name if the customer or field has your own name as a customer or else it will simply be suggesting you the best that you should go with. And you can simply click on adopt and sign. So that's all. It, it it shows the placeholder where exactly the signature will appear, and you simply can click on finish. So how exactly you are working with uh, the DocuSign kind of a tool? Now uh, that is available to the Odoo for the Odoo's user as well, right? And let's say if you are uh, using Odoo and if you want to share any document to your vendor or to your client or to any other person so now uh, we have an option to utilize the functionality offered by DocuSign so it's going to be the combination of both uh, a suitable ERP like Odoo and a very strong e-signature provider company like DocuSign so that's that's going to be the combination and that's that's how this integrated solution works so anyways let's get back to our uh, solution let's assume that the customer has already uh, sign the document now we are looking at uh, two different things one is uh, what exactly happening inside our Odoo's instance we we again can get uh, get inside the DocuSign module and we can get inside DocuSign documents 
so it's nothing but it will simply be listing down all the documents that you so far have processed by using this DocuSign uh, functionality and uh, it will just help you to uh, retrieve and it will just help you to uh, have uh, the uh, signed documents along with the original document that has been sh shared by your salesperson. So we simply get click on retrieve over here. And uh, that is going to help us out with uh, two different things. We simply can click on attachment. And as you can see that this is the original uh, document. Let's download it and see that what's there. All right. So it, it was the original quotation sent by your salesperson and signed attachments. Uh, here we have. So that is the signed document that we have received back from the other person or from your customer mostly. All right. So this was the signature put in by the customer. So why it is here? The reason is that uh, why it's there in the attachment section is because it's not only, uh, you know, it, it doesn't help you to uh, share across the document to your client, but once client signs the document it will reflect back to your email address and it will be notifying you back in your email as well that how exactly the customer has signed and when exactly the customer has put in his signature and uh, that will surely help you to get the proper hold on your process and you simply can get to know that the customer has only signed the document so the first email we have received was to ask for the signature and the second email we have received was uh, uh you know that the customer has already signed the document and accordingly you can go ahead with the further processes and like that so that's pretty much about this video guys and as we have seen that uh, the odoo plus docusign is a perfect combination if you want to utilize uh, as i said earlier that if you just want to have a very strong erp in place like odoo and at the same time if you want to use uh, a very well-known tool uh, which offers the electronic signature uh, solutions. So that's going to be uh, the way uh, the solution is going to work. All right. So thank you very much for being on this video. You can connect with us. You can connect with SAP on CS for more details. If you're interested to use this particular solution, you simply can connect with us on contact at .com, Right. And uh, we surely can talk further about your requirements and our solution. Thank you very much for joining in again and have a nice day. Thank you.